Oh, Reddit. One of the places you can distill pain. The pure pain and hatred and betrayal that comes from a feminist cucked world. The title of this Reddit post, My Wife Left Our Eight-Year Relationship. Oh, are you telling me that women don't believe in love? Oh, no. I thought they were all princesses. I thought Disney told me the truth. No, they're just trying to groom your kids and ruin women's standards. Let's get into the story. Uh, Love for Mother Earth says, When we met, I didn't even have my own home or job. I put my sweat, blood, and tears into my career and worked my way up to managing three manufacturing facilities. So this guy sacrificed thousands of hours. Blood, sweat, tears, a whole lot of nut. Sacrificed all of it to attain the life he wanted. To give to his wife, his woman, to make a family. And what happened? He says, I bought us everything we needed to start a family like we planned. Oh, they planned it. I promise you, I want to have your children. I want to name our kids this. Let's plan a wedding. Let's plan a vacation. Let's name our kids. Let's plan all. Oh, uh, uh, now my pussy ain't as tingly as it used to be. Bye. Bye bye. That is one of the most painful experiences a man can go through. You finally realize that the woman you've given your heart to, that you've had emotional parabonic sex with for years, uh, you know, how she feels is more important than what she says. Her word means nothing. Disloyalty comes easy to women, but men live by iron codes of brotherhood. Uh, Not all of them. A lot of them will backstab you. But it's, it's hard to trust a woman after you have something like this done up on you. He says, I got a beautiful house in a subdivision, new vehicles, the works. Oh, so you bought a lot of um, ethereal, no, ethereal, no, ethereal consumeristic goods you thought was going to bring you joy and happiness. Because if you buy her a new car, if you buy her a good house in a good suburb with the right kind of percentage of white people in it, surely she won't become a slore. Surely she won't leave you, backstab you, kill your family before it even forms. That way, a woman would never do that. Oh, wait. (laughs) Happens every day. He says, I didn't handle the miscarriage well. Oh. Ooh. Miscarriage. Yeah, that's kind of hard to deal with. I'll be honest, that's pretty hard to deal with. But if it's an eight-year relationship, and then they had a miscarriage, let's assume they met at 20. She's 28 having miscarriages. As, as, you know, as those eggs get dustier, as those eggs get crustier, the miscarriage rates pop up. It's kind of like how later in the night my blood alcohol level will be up tonight. It's, kind of, it's the same thing with miscarriage rates with old-ass eggs. If she started giving him kids a year into the relationship, two years into the relationship, maybe a miscarriage wouldn't have happened. But she wanted to live her 20s. She wanted to chase her career. She was an empowered feminist woman who could have it all. <laughs> you could have a miscarriage too. I have no sympathy. You see, the cost of the wall accrues every day. I'm not saying she turns 20 and there's like a 33% chance of a miscarriage. I'm just saying if you compare her at 18 and 28, there is a significant increase in miscarriages. There is a significant increase in spontaneous abortions. There is a significant increase in genetic defects. But you know, her career is worth more. Going to college is worth more. Getting a degree was worth more. Getting hit on by random guys at her workplace were worth more. And now, she's leaving him behind in the dust. He says, I didn't give her enough of my focus. I tried to ask for forgiveness. I switched jobs and took a pay pay cut to spend more time at home. Too much damage had been done by that point. She left me a little over a month ago. I had dreams of us raising a family in this house. Now I come home every day to an empty house that's too big for me. I don't have my child or my wife. This hurts a lot. Oof. Yeah, I have sympathy for this guy. I'm not going to call him a simp or cocky, but look, when the times get tough, the women get divorcing. They leave you. You didn't do enough for my emotional needs 
when we lost our child. So I'm going to go have kids with someone else. Let's see what the comments say. Someone says, relationships are hard, man. Uh, <laughs> when you're dealing with Western whores, they are for sure. Absolutely for sure. What else do we have here? Ah, more relationship cope, Reddit cucks. Ooh, here we go. This begs a question I've always wanted to ask before now. Do women really value high emotional connection much more than low emotional connection, but with some levels of wealth and financial stability? It seems like women who lack emotional support from their husbands are much more likely to have affairs and probably more likely to walk away from marriage to be with guys who listen, who care, but make 20K a year. <laughs> Yeah, the, the nice guy at the office who's working as a janitor and listens to her problems and cares about her. That's who these women are going towards after they divorce her husbands. This is pure simp cope. This Reddit cuck has no idea how women work. They don't, he has no idea what women are attracted to. <sighs> I'm not even going to read the rest of that cuck comment. But that's cuckatry 101. This guy got cucked by the feminist system allowing his wife to betray him. How unfortunate. Too bad I can't do anything to change it. All I can do is make fun of these women on YouTube. That's how I can change it. Uh, why don't you just fight the family court system? Why don't you just fight the U.S. federal government? No, I'll just make fun of horse. 